This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, June 3rd. I'm James Spann, your classic case of scattered showers and thunderstorms across the state today. Tomorrow, relatively dry, but rain chances increase again by late Thursday and Friday with a cold front approaching from the north. Uh, there's a look at some of the sky cam shots around the network today. That is a classic looking summer sky. That is the view coming from Cheha State Park looking east. Big old cumulus clouds that are growing vertically. Some of those developing into showers today. Very similar sky coming from Fultondale at the Walker Chapel exit of I-65. And down south, another cloudy day on the Gulf Coast. That's a Gulf Shore sky cam. Uh, the weather down there will be better in coming days. Uh, later this week and over the weekend, look for increasing amounts of sunshine and fewer showers. Here's a big picture. We got that ridge west of the state that's centered over Texas beginning to kind of uh, edge in here, that 588 circle. And accordingly, we think tomorrow will be relatively dry with only a few isolated showers around, especially on the eastern side of the state. And an active storm track up north where severe storms are starting to break out across parts of the uh, high plains in the Midwest. We're back in the 80s today. Uh, Tuscaloosa, 86. Birmingham, 83. We'll expect highs in the upper 80s tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, as temperatures finally start to feel like June again. There's a watch warning map. <clears throat> Off to the west, we have an excessive heat warning for the deserts of Arizona, red flag warnings for northern New Mexico and up north, a tornado watch until 7 o'clock for parts of Nebraska, Iowa, and uh, Missouri, a storm producing very large hail up in the uh, northeastern part of Nebraska. And there could be a few storms out there with uh, tornadoes. Here's the day one convective outlook, a moderate risk. And uh, that stuff could evolve into a derecho type event with uh, widespread damaging wind in that region. You can see uh, about a 50-50 chance of any one spot uh, getting damaging wind through that zone. So very active weather up north. Then tomorrow, a couple of slight risks. Uh, one just north of here, one down to Interstate 40 in Tennessee. Again, we think we'll be mostly dry here tomorrow. The enhancement uh, tomorrow is roughly along the Ohio River. Uh, cities like uh, Evansville, Louisville, Lexington, Cincinnati, Columbus, Ohio involved in that. Then on day three, which is Thursday, no formal risks here. We've got a slight risk to the east and one to the west, but the low 5% possibilities do cover the northern half of Alabama. And with a, a front approaching and pretty warm afternoon temperatures, some of the storms late Thursday could pack a punch over the northern third of the state. This is the overall rain for the next five days. This carries us through Sunday morning at 7 o'clock. The heavier rains near the Tennessee border. Amounts there close to two inches with the amounts lighter down this way. Check modeling the old GFS, the global forecast system. This is valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon at 500 millibars. You can see the upper high near Abilene, Texas, extending into Alabama. And for most of you, the day will be warm and dry. Upper 80s. Pretty good deal of sunshine. Any showers confined to the eastern side of the state more than likely, and even there, they should be fairly widely spaced. Now, Thursday, a cold front drops in from the north, and a band of showers and storms is likely with that front uh, down into Tennessee, edging down into north Alabama Thursday afternoon, and uh, those probably will reach Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden late Thursday or Thursday night. And we'll monitor those storms for being strong. No tornado threat, but we could see maybe some reports of small hail or gusty winds. And then Friday, the front just stops. It grinds to a halt uh, somewhere around Huntsville and Gadsden. Drier air may be affecting that northeastern corner of the state, but I think for most locations around here, we'll have to maintain a chance of showers and storms on Friday. Not an all-day rain, but just a chance. And uh, highs around 90. Uh, the, the GFS is really ramping up the numbers. They're printing 92 on Friday. Sounds a little excessive. The models have been way too warm in recent days. We'll stick with upper 80s for now. And Saturday, as we kick off the weekend, that front begins to wash out. There's a moisture axis here. So it looks like a typical summer day. The chance of a few scattered showers and storms, especially Saturday afternoon. Highs, I'd say, 87 to 90. And pretty much the same deal Sunday. However, the, the GFS continues the idea of drier air pushing in here from the west with the deeper moisture moving over into Georgia. And there's been some very good consistency with this idea. But again, for now, we'll maintain some risk of a few showers and storms on Sunday. 
And then May, Monday, another cold front drops in from the north. And uh, like fronts do in June, this one probably dies out before getting deep into Alabama, but it could bring an enhanced chance of showers and storms. And then Tuesday, the model tries to bring drier air down in here. And you know what I'm about to say, not so sure it gets that far south. We'll keep a chance of showers going in the forecast. And yep, down south, the GFS continues to develop a tropical-type feature near the western tip of Cuba. The next day, uh, that feature is uh, moving up toward Fort Myers, Florida. Uh, and this would be no threat to us at all. The water up here is cool, and, and the upper winds just would not allow it to affect us. But our friends in South Florida might get a good soaking from that. The main effect would be heavy rain. And on the 15th, it just kind of keeps moving northeast up to, uh, toward uh, Cape Hatteras. Uh, and again, the main issue with these early season systems, it's the chance of heavy rain, but it looks like the, the impact of this, if it happens, would be way far south and east of here for now. Check the end of the forecast, June 19th. Good news, no sign of any death ridge, the upper high that brings the excessively hot weather. Uh, this is suggesting a nice trough in through here, and if that's right, kind of showery with a cold front approaching from the north. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream or the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.